it's crazy. I feel like I'm reacting to like all girls today, which when does that ever happen? Um, okay, so today I'm gonna be reacting to how do you G idol? G idol. Jidle? Jiddle. Giddle. Guidle. How do you say it? You let me know in the comments below. I think it's G idol. That that sounds the coolest to me, so I'm gonna go with that. La ta ta. I've already obviously listened to the song because it's a bop, but I haven't seen the video and all of the members, so um, yeah, I wanna see what this looks like. I know her because she was on produce and she was on pretty ugly, no, ug pretty, <laughs> unpretty rap star, can't talk. That outfit is fire. I don't know their names. Is she like the visual? That one? Why is she missing a... Okay. Dang, her outfits are fire. Every day, every night, la ta ta. That can't be a trend. The glasses with one out and one in. That can't. Like, that literally can't. Yes, girl. She's my bias. Not just because she's the only one I know, but... Her style, everything. Oh, she's really pretty. The chick... Was that a wolf or a dog? Okay. My Little Pony. I like who, her voice. I think it's cool they did henna. Spirit fingers. so good like it's really for a debut song that is fire um i definitely i'm excited for this group like i think that they had a solid debut i will say the music video was kind of underwhelming um for from what i could see it was just like visuals there wasn't really a plot which usually i don't even pay attention to plot so i don't know why i care about that um but also the choreography it, i thought it was gonna be a little more than that I guess um so like I thought the choreography maybe watching it live 
it would be different, but there didn't seem to be a lot there. But the song itself is fire, so it's okay if there's not a lot of choreography. Um, I really like them. And I'm, you know, they kind of give me, in terms of like stylistically, a black paint kind of vibe, which I'm not comparing. I'm just saying, okay, don't come for me. But like, stylistically, their style um, and the song and everything, it kind of was black pinkish to me. Um, I do think it's amazing to me that Cube, you know, marketed them very well and put them out and they were able to win number one and get so much promo. And the song is a bop. They deserve it. But you know what else was a bop? CLC, Hobgoblin. Have you heard it? If you haven't, you should. Um, if you didn't know, CLC is part of Cube as well and they are extremely underrated and uh, don't really get much love even though they have, like, they're very talented. And Black Dress was also a bop, and, you know, that it didn't really go anywhere. And so I feel like what they're doing for G-Idol, I really hope that they're able to do that for CLC. Because, you know, CLC came before them. They debuted before them. And um, they haven't gotten the same amount of, you know, fame that this new newly debuted group has gotten. And that kind of is shitty, and it sucks. So... I, I, I'm not taking away from g -Idle. I think they're great. The song is awesome. I'm so excited for their future releases. But I really hope that Cube fixes, you know, what it's doing with CLC. Because it's clearly not working. But clearly they're capable of doing it. You know what I mean? So anyway, um, yeah, I loved it. Let me know what you think about the song and the group in general. Are you excited for them and their future songs? And yeah, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.